Hi, this video is about using a writing tablet with your Chromebook. The reason you want a writing tablet is because it makes it really easy to write and to draw on a Chromebook just like you do on paper. The problem is, is most writing tablets are not made for Chromebooks. So don't just go on Amazon and buy one because um, cheap or expensive, they're only gonna work on uh, Windows PCs and, and Macs for the most part. Okay, this one is very special. I researched it and found one that works with Chromebooks and you don't need to install any software. It's super easy to use. Basically, it looks like this. This is what you write on and uh, this is the little USB cable you plug into your Chromebook and and it comes with a, a stylus or a pen that looks like this. It has some buttons on it, but I don't think they really work on the Chromebook. Okay, I think these are more for the PC. I think it's just simply you get a write on it um, when you're using the Chromebook. Okay, so how to use it? It's super easy. Okay, when I first uh, researched this, it only cost $30. It's up to $40. I don't know why they raised the price. Um, I hope you can afford it. If not, um, I'm hoping uh, we're going to try to get the school to invest in it um, next year, or I might have to buy them. I don't know. But if you want to have one for your, your child over the summer, this is a great way, a great thing to do so they could do assignments and do activities on the internet with their Chromebook. Okay, so let's go over here and look at the Chromebook and see how to use it. Okay, so let's say you're in the Google Classroom and the teacher, you go down and you say, oh, Miss Harney gave me an assignment right here. Um, it's about favorite foods. Let's see this. Okay, well here I want to do it, so I click right here, and then I see um, here's the assignment. I want to write on it, so to write on it I have to use a program called Kami. So I go up here and I say open with Kami. Okay, and now you see that it's open in Kami and uh, you can start writing on it. But what are you gonna write on it with? Well, usually we've had to use, we had to use a touchpad and you touch with one finger and you try to write with the other and it's very um, frustrating to students and to adults. It's not, not what it's made for, okay? So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take the new, um, the new writing pad we just bought. We're going to take the USB thing. We're just going to plug it right in. We're going to find the USB ports on the side. Okay, and I'm going to take the USB and make sure the open parts are at the top. Put it in here. Push all the way. And we're ready to use it. Okay, so I pick up the board and my pen. Here's my pen. Here's my board. Okay, and I want to start writing right here. Now you're going to see it's really cool. Sorry. Okay. So let's see. Here's my board. And um, I just start writing here. Now as I, uh, this is called hovering. You can see as I hover, I can see where I'm about to write. Okay, so I'm not actually touching the board, I'm just writing right above it. And you can see um, this little cross here moving around. Let me get a better focus and move in a little more. So. Okay, so I'm moving this around and you can see I'm hovering. You can use it just like a mouse and click on things if you want. Um, and when I get here, there you go, you can see it. A little, it's called crosshair, the crosshairs. Okay, and wherever it is, when I, when I actually touch the board, it'll start writing there. Okay, so I go over, so I'm just kind of manipulating it like this, and I'm moving that crosshairs over to, I wanna um, draw, use a drawing thing, I'm gonna use red. So I click on it, I push all the way down on the pad. Okay. And now I'm moving, whoops, I accidentally wrote on it. Okay, my favorite food is, I'm going to say pizza. So, okay, what I'm 
I'm doing here on the board is I'm just pushing down just like I write on paper. We suck. Okay, I didn't like the line there, so I'm going to go over here and make it a little thicker. Make it like a thicker line. Okay, and then they want to know because why? Okay, so I'm going to say because um, the, because it, oh my gosh, it feels really good, super easy to write on. Okay, I'm going to let you watch me right here so you can get an idea what it looks like. Okay, so I move the crosshairs to where I want. Okay, and it is so... Okay, and uh, so you can see it looks nice on there. It was easy to write on here, and that's it. When I'm done with it, I can unplug it, plug it back in. It's super easy, okay, and I can save my work, but now you can write on a Chromebook super easy. Um, I hope that helps, and um, I hope, like I said, it's not too expensive. Right now it's $40. It was, um, it was, sorry. $30 just a little bit ago, but don't buy another one, okay? Be, don't buy a different one unless you're absolutely sure it works with a Chromebook, okay? Um, the brand is called Huion, okay, and it has a specific number, and I'll put that in the name of the, I think it's model HS64, okay, and they sell it on Amazon. It's the only one, even if you get the brand in a different model, it might not work. Okay, so unless you research it and know of a different one, this is the one I know works. Okay, so hope it works. I uh, hope it works and uh, it makes you and your child um, enjoy uh, working, on the, uh, working on the Chromebook and doing assignments and writing easier. Thank you very much.